Where the heck am I right now? I have no idea. Well, wherever I am, the plan tomorrow is to catch a trout, fillet it, put it in a wet brine, and smoke it on the spot, all in the same day with no electric smoker. <laughs> so you remember in the last video I did, I was talking about getting a new car? Well, this is it, Toyota Prius. That's what I settled on. Nah, I'm just kidding. This is my wife's car. I'm not driving the Highlander anymore because it's gone, man. It's gone. So I'm trying to sleep in the Prius today. We'll see how that goes. Surprisingly, it's more flat and there's more room than I thought. Woo! Morning time. <sighs> well, this is how I slept. Surprisingly good in the Prius, right? Huh. All right, man, time to get on the water. <laughs> time to wake up. Man, we had to wait a good two hours. It was just too windy. I thought we wouldn't have an opportunity to fish today, but finally the wind died down. And we're gonna launch the boat. It's 1020 right now, so I think there's still time to catch the fish, fillet it, brine it, smoke it all in the same day, but we gotta get on a fish early. I'm out here with Andrew, the other fishing channel. That's his channel's name. Today, the setup is this, a spoon, it's barbless only, artificial only out here in this lake and on the other rod I got this hoochie here and this hoochie also barbless single hook and it's got a head on it and it's going to wiggle around in the water so you don't need a sling blade you don't need a dodger that's the plan no downrigger we got them on a the slider so we'll have them in the back of the boat with either a four ounce weight or six ounce weight if we need to go deeper let's get them let's get them all right y'all Andrew's coming down right now I just saw like a good 20 inch trout jumping right behind the boat about 50 feet. The plan is with these spoons and stuff, we're gonna scope them out about 80 to 200 feet behind the boat and troll with the weight. Hope it gets down about 20 feet, troll about two and a half miles per hour and catch a bunch of fish. The slot limit is 17 to 20, I think. You can keep two of those a day and one a day that's over 24 inches. So that's the limit and that's what we're using today. Now it's just a matter of catching the fish. There he is, the man, the myth, the legend, the other fishing channel. So Andrew caught nine fish the other day. This is what he was using. He caught most of the fish on that thing yesterday? About, I'd say maybe 60%. Yeah, and the rest on uh, spoons and hard baits and crankbait type yep. of things. You guys see that spoon right there? So nothing fancy about this type of fishing. It's just straight slider down to the spoon. I got 12 pound fluoro as the leader. So this is what's going on on the fish finder right there. 50 feet, 43.95 degrees Fahrenheit, two miles per hour. So Andrew was telling me that this lake is not completely fresh water. It's like a little bit of salt. Let me test it. A tiny bit of salt. Pretty fresh though. So you know we're trolling for trout and uh, it's kind of they're kind of in the same family as salmon so it's kind of the same thing a lot of the times yesterday Andrew was saying when he was fishing here he would get them when he would stop the motor the bait would drop down or maybe on a turn so kind of mixing it up trying to entice a bite especially because we don't have bait no and no sense allowed here either so Andrew's marking a few fish a little deeper 35 40 feet with the four ounce weight feels like I only get down about 15 feet so changing it up to the six hopefully get down to the strike zone Yeah, fish on, fish on. Nice. Your drag's good, right? Uh, you might, if you want, you can maybe tighten a little bit. I have to set it loose for the quicker with it. Yeah, it's this. Yeah, you got him? Yeah. Nice. Nice dude, fish on, baby. That was pretty quick. And right on that turn, I don't know if yeah, right, 
right on the turn. turn. Yeah. We just passed a little drop off too. Andrew said it went from 35 feet to, to 80. I like this little reel. Nice. nice little reel. It might be a little keeper. Like a small little keeper. So yeah, the slice slalom is 17 to 20 and then over 24, right? Yeah, is that right? Over 24. You can keep one. This feels like it might be in that low slot. Hard to say though. Sometimes when you're trolling, you know the fish feel a little bit bigger. But that's pretty cool, man. Oh, it's a decent size one, dude. It's a decent size one. It's gonna be over 20. Yeah, it is nice. Wow, that's a nice one, dude. Woo! Bro, that's a nice one. Let's go! Let's go. <laughs> Bro, heck yeah. Wow, he did not seem that big when he was fighting. Not at all. All right, we're gonna measure him. Uh, they need to be over 24, you said, right? Over 24. Okay, so. Fork in the tail. Yeah. yeah, that's not even, well, we need your measuring tape. Oh well, he's yeah, he's 20. He's 21. He's 20 and a half. So not too big. So, yeah, just a little bit too big, but it's pretty cool right there. All right, we gotta let him go. We're gonna let him go, all right? Drop him back. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Oh, yeah, I should probably work on my release skills. So that's the plug right there. With the five ounce weight, 80 feet back. Tom Reeves, custom built, all handmade, wooden plug. Pretty cool. Oh, fish on, fish on, fish on. Get it, get it. Get it, get it. Oh, bro, this feels like a big one. Here you do, take it, take it. All right. Andrew insisting that I get it on that on the same spot. We trolled around back to the same spot. Oh, now that's a my beekeeper. Uh, where's the net at? Here you go. I think that'll keep. Long and skinny. Long and skinny. All right, here we go. Oh, stay down, stay down. All right, here he comes. All right. Yo! Nice. Heck yeah, yeah baby. Nice. Oh, barely hooked. Let's go. Let's go, man. We didn't didn't farm him in. The hook came out. Wow, it looks so different from the other one. This is the pilot peach thing. Uh, look at that thing. That's a funny looking fish. Think you'll keep? It's the one thing I forgot earlier. It's actually to the fork of the tail. And he's too big. He's just barely too big. So we'll let him go also. Dude, this thing right here is killing it already. 20 minutes, two fish. I'm going to change out. Andrew's got another color, so I'm going to change it out to one of these. So a couple times when I was fishing in the ocean for salmon, I was reeling in and I got fish while I was reeling in. Or, you know, I was checking it like this. I don't know, changing the action a little bit. So I'm going to play with the rod a little, see if that can entice another bite. I mean, it's not like the bite is slow right now. We're getting them, but just for fun. Oh, oh fish on, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Oh, get it. Yeah. oh that was you, dude. They're sharp, though. Damn, had one. Missed it right there on the crankbait. No weight. Set back 140 feet. Oh, fish on, 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 fish on. He's on, he's on, he's on. Oh, yeah. This is third fish right here on the, the lure. Go. That's a keeper. I think keeper. that's a keeper. Woo. Yeah. Nice, man. Oh, yeah. Beautiful little cutthroat. Look at the spots on him, man. Beautiful little fish right there. Dude, this lure is killing it right here. What's what is the name? Tom. Tom Reeves. Tom Reeves. Dang. Built a bite. All right, let's see what it is. I'm gonna say definitely a keeper. 
Yep. 18 and a half to the edge, end of the tail and 18 to the fork. So whether it's to the fork or to the tail, he's a keeper. Nice, bro. Should we bleed him? Yeah. Bleed him and put him on ice. Nice. All right, we'll cut him right there in the gills. We're gonna bleed him. Like that. While his heart's still pumping, get him in the water. A little bit smaller than the other ones, but hey, it's a keeper. Look at the pattern on it too. This one doesn't have quite the, the red under its throat like the other ones, but it's a beautiful, healthy looking fish. His stomach is full of something. So once we, we fillet, actually let's, let's uh, clean them up right now. You know, you're not allowed to fillet them on the boat, but you are allowed to clean them, I believe. So we're gonna cut him up right here and see what he's been eating. And then I'm gonna go back to shore, fillet him, Get him on the brine and they come out here. Oh, oh, he's got eggs, huh? She's got eggs. We keep the eggs. Those look, wow, look at those. Dang, feel kind of bad now. A little bit. Yeah, I'll keep, you want those eggs? I mean, I'll keep them. I don't want them. You don't want them? I'll keep them for something. Maybe Damn, look at those. Throw those on the ice right away. You, you down to eat some eggs? I'll smoke the eggs. Um, down to try it, yeah. Yeah, okay, cool. I'd, I'd be to try it. Nice. All right, Andrew, try the eggs, and I'll try the eggs. Smoke them up. I thought that was food, but he's got an empty belly. She does, I should smoked say. Smoke trout and eggs. Smoke trout, smoked eggs. Yeah, you never had smoked eggs before? No. Cool. There she is. Now you're not allowed to fillet it on the boat, like I said, so Andrew's gonna drop me off in a little bit. I'm gonna fillet this, put it in the brine, and then I'll hop back out with him. All right, man, I'll All be right, back. We'll All right. back in yep. All right, awesome. Got the fish here, got the row, got my bag. Now, let's go fillet this sucker. There we go. All right, y'all, so here's the plan. And take this salt, this brown sugar, my water, and a Ziploc bag. And we're gonna create the brine right now really quick. So let's do this. Normally when I do a wet brine for smoked salmon at home, I do a third cup of salt, one cup of brown sugar, and one quart of water. Now that usually soaks for at least 24 hours, but today we don't have that time. We only have about three hours. So I'm gonna do about a cup of sugar, keep that the same, and I'm gonna increase the salt to about half a cup. Mmm, yeah, maybe half a cup, let's do it. And we're just gonna eyeball it, all right? So about one cup of brown sugar right here. Let's pour about half a cup, maybe a little bit more than a third. That might be a little bit more than half a cup, but that's all right. It should be good. And we're gonna take our water here, about a quart, you know, fill this thing up. That's all dissolved. And that's our brine. Now we gotta go fillet the fish. We can't fillet it right here because we're on a reservation. Technically, we have to be off the reservation to do that. So I'm gonna drive the fish off the reservation, fillet it, and then kind of drive back over here while, while it brines. Then I can meet Andrew back on the boat. All right, y'all, got my brine here. I'll leave that there on the side. Got the bubble blade. Let's see, is this thing sharp? Sharp enough. Just gonna take our bubble blade, go right here, cut it right down behind that, go right along the spine here. Just push the blade right through. All right, all right, all right. I might need a little work on my fillet jobs, but I think it turned out all right. Now let's rinse it off. Clean up the bones. We still got the pin bones in there, but that's all right. Just like that, into the brine she goes. Super salty. And you know what? I'm gonna brine the body too. So I'm gonna just fold her in half, 
brine that body. As long as it's covered, it's brining. And now, the only other thing, we gotta throw the eggs in there too. There goes the beautiful, beautiful eggs. Going in. Brining it all, baby. All right, here's the plan. Andrew's back, so we're gonna let that fish brine. Try to get a big old fish. So sit back, relax, enjoy this little bit of fishing before we start cooking. Get any? Big, nah? Nah, small. I mean, it was pipe. Yeah. Oh, there's fish. Oh, on. get it, get it, get it. Nice, nice, nice. Fish on, baby. I can net it for you. All right. Been waiting for a while for this one. Little guy. little guy probably a keeper but I don't think I'm gonna keep any you gonna keep him nah I'll just let him go I think yeah it's funny you know Andrew actually designed this lure because when he was fishing one day he had the downrigger clip and it was coming up and the fish was following it so he's like can you make me one of these and it, you know basically looks the same and it's the only thing that has been working today too crazy all right, back and ready to smoke this fish. I got this charcoal grill right here. The plan is to take about five or six briquettes to keep the temperature low. Oh, I also got this jam because you know when you smoke fish, you always gotta have something sweet to, to, to glaze over the top. So, that's how it looks right now. It's been about four hours or so. Let's take it out and see how it looks. It's got that gooey texture, like it's been taking out all the liquid. Here's a piece of the meat. Oh yeah, that looks like it's getting there. So we're not going to do too many. I think eight. We'll start with eight. Uh, well, we've got these things on the side. That'll keep the temperature down. So we'll spread them all out like that. Actually, we'll. We'll spread them out after we, we light them up. And so we'll let these get ready to cook and that'll take about 15 minutes. So the plan is we'll let these heat up. Once they're ready to, to, to cook on, then once they start disintegrating a little bit, we'll throw on another coal. We'll throw on maybe two at a time every 15 minutes or so. And the plan is to smoke this salmon for about 45 minutes, maybe maybe an hour, maybe two hours, maybe an hour and a half, I don't know. Don't know yet, never done this before. So we'll see how this turns out. Let's get those coals nice and white right now. All right, well, these coals are getting hot enough, I think. I mean, we don't want it to be too hot, that's the only thing. So we're gonna spread them out a little bit, nice and smoky. Everyone's got a little bit of white on it. Right here we're gonna do this whole head piece too. It goes there. There's one piece of the trout going in. So one of these fillets, we're gonna have that strawberry jam glazed over it. But on the other one, I'm gonna add some of this spice. This is just some all season spice. Let's just sprinkle a little bit over the top. That'd probably be good. And we cannot forget about the row, the salmon row, the trout row. Put some right there. Let's put the skein side down. And we're going to do this one too. Right there. Yeah, it's working. It's uh, heating up slowly, slowly. It's looking pretty good. And I got this little charcoal pile right next to it. But trout's looking pretty good. And I think it's time for the first layer of smuckers. It's a nice little strawberry glaze. Let that melt on top. I feel like it's probably cooking at like 110 degrees maybe, maybe like 120. So it could probably use a couple more briquettes. I have no idea if that's really true or not, but that's what my estimation is. Well, as you can tell, the sun is going down, it's getting darker. 
So this has been smoking for about an hour and 45 minutes right now. Let's take a look and see how it's turned out. Looked on the spot. How's that? How's that looking? Yeah, I'm going to say that that's done. Take a look at that. I think it's done. Trout looks great right there in the middle. So I'm going to break this in half. Half's going to be for me. Half's going to be for Andrew. Let's see how it turned out. Oh, yeah. All right. That's done. Okay, it's not too hot. I ripped it apart though. So there it is. It smells good. I think it looks pretty good. Like, look how that turned out. You take that piece, you can have that. Mm. Yeah. No way. Yeah. That's good, man. Not bad. That's really, yeah, that's not bad at all. For being caught, what? Six hours ago? Or? Six hours ago, smoked the same day. Now before we ate this, Andrew did say that these fish do taste a little fishy. I taste a little bit of the fishiness, but I, it, I, yeah. it's not overpowering at all though. Yeah, it tastes good. It tastes good. I, I would give it a solid seven. <laughs> seven <laughs> solid seven, yeah. <laughs> all right, man. Um, what do you want to go for, the row? Let's try, try the row. Try the row. <laughs> a, little, a little apprehensive right here. Yeah. Uh, all right. Well, let me see you eat it first. All right. It's hard. I was expecting it to be softer, but I guess the smoke dehydrated it all. Ooh. Mmm. Uh, no. Salty? No. It's a very chewy and sticky, like like a like a glaze that's almost. I'll try it. It's like a glaze that's almost uh uh a cold. Like it was hot and it's almost cold so it sticks in your teeth so don't try too much the inside pops mm. it's not horrible either but this is more like a like a like a 3.8 yeah this is <laughs> like a 3.8 right what would you say this is kind of like kind of feel like a meeting bait or oh yeah something. i yeah yeah um no uh no yeah, no yeah. no toss that down on the side all right well overall if you man i can't even i gotta spit this out real quick <laughs> Ooh, yeah no that's not it with the row especially when it's dried out on the side it's so sticky you can't swallow it yeah no 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 all right this with the strawberry jam probably similar but might be better yeah i could taste a little bit of sweetness yeah, for sure. Sweetness at the beginning. Um, and then after the sweetness goes away, it tastes just like the other one to me. Yeah. Very similar. But yeah, good. Overall, great day fishing with yeah. you, man. Um, Andrew, he's going out on the butter boat, actually, opening day rockfish. So when this video comes out, Andrew will be out there fishing. So check out his channel. He's hopefully, hopefully he gets enough fish to, to get a video. And that should be coming out. So the other fishing channel, that's his channel. Check it out.